What's happening guys? This is Hyper Paradox, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. In this episode, we are going to travel through the second floor of Joke's End, and Jojora seems to be very surprised that we're here. This is where the real challenge starts. Look, you probably should just give up and go home. Well, that might be difficult because, first of all, we're stuck in the middle of nowhere, and secondly, we're not in the Mushroom Kingdom anymore. When are these people going to learn that we are... we are in the Bean Bean Kingdom? I guess we'll have to bean some sense into them. Okay, that made absolutely no sense, but at least it sounded cool. Eh, okay, who am I kidding? It didn't sound cool at all! But you know what does sound cool? A Swing Brothers to this clump's face. But, uh, this video is actually going to be rather interesting, I think. Because... The majority... The ma for the majority of the video, Mario and Luigi will be separated. That's right, we actually have to do a few segments with each of the brothers individually. And that should do it for now. Anyway, we want to hammer and dunk Luigi, dig him up, and hit this action block. So, uh, let's bring Luigi over here. And up the stairs, up he goes. And around the gate. And into some enemies. Like this Ice Sniffet, for example, and two Glurps. Okay, things are going to be a little bit tougher this time around because, like I said, we are going to be fighting with one brother apiece. But as I said before earlier in a previous video, uh, Luigi has the Great Force equipped. So he will deal twice as much damage as normal. Unfortunately, that also means he takes twice as much damage. And I'm going to have to use hammer attacks and jump attacks to uh, defeat these ice sniffets because Unlike, unlike Mario, they are not vulnerable to Luigi's hand power. But even if you don't have the hand power, they're still very, very easy to defeat. Only two hits to destroy them. Alright, just have to wait it out a little while longer. Uh, and that was a complete fail. Alright, let's try this one more time. There we go. So each of the brothers are going to get quite a big boost in terms of experience points. Alright, some Ultra Nuts, and I'll be back as soon as I defeat these two Glurps. Alright, I am back. Uh, there were actually two Glurps in this room and four in this room, so I decided to, uh, take those out while I was at, those guys out while I was at it. Um, in here we will find a Simu block, but we can't do anything with it without Mario. Might as well read this though. Eh, another never mind. Uh, we've seen that sign before. So, uh, Mario will have to come to the other one if we want to activate those blocks. Anyway, um, if we come in here, we can see another pair of Simo blocks. This, these are the pair that we want to activate. Well, actually, no. Uh, we do want to be in, uh, we do want to be in the, uh, previous room. So, uh, I was wrong about that. Yes, this is the Simo block we want to be in. So, let's go ahead and switch over to Mario. Oh, how lonely it must be for Mario to be in a frozen wasteland like this. Of course, if you were a little kid and you loved snow, then you'd probably have a field day with this. Me, personally, I am not a very big fan of, of uh, snow. In fact, I'm, 
I really hate cold weather. It's just, I've always hated cold weather. I don't know why I'm so sensitive to it. I just uh, have always been, I've just been always, shall we say vulnerable to cold weather. I know there's a better word, but let's leave it at that. Anyway, we have some uh, Scaratroopies to deal with, but uh, this might be tricky because we don't have any brothers attacks. So like I said when I first introduced them, you will want to take out those Scaratroopies as soon as possible. Because as you've seen there, they will revive any enemy that is defeated. So one idea you could have is to uh, attack them alter alternatively. Alternately, I mean. But then they'll just keep on healing the damage that you do. But keep in mind, the damage you deal out is always greater than the damage they heal, so if they continue that for long, eventually you will beat them. Alright, please don't heal, please don't heal, and please don't revive either. You heal. <sighs> I'm not going to get mad. I am going to teach these guys a lesson! And if you know what that's from, then you deserve a lollipop. Let's say that. I'm not going to get mad. I am going to teach them a lesson. If you know the reference, then you deserve a lollipop. And why am I being completely redundant? Because I have nothing to talk about, because we've seen all of these enemies before. At least we get a good number of experience points, and speaking of experience, Mario just broke 30,000 experience points, and oh jeez, two clumps. Well, my best bet is to use uh, the fire brand on them in an attempt to get them to flee from battle, so that's what I'll do. Not only that, but Firebrand does do a hefty amount of damage to them. Now, did he burp? Yes, he did. I do believe that Shockwave is more damaging than the smaller one, so be sure to keep that in mind. Just thank the lucky stars that Scaratroopies are usually not paired up with Clumps. Otherwise, you'd have one heck of a frustrating battle, believe me. And why won't your hair go on fire? Sure, I know it's hazardous to your health, but don't you think you can be the least bit lenient with me? Oh well, I think I'll hammer you instead. There we go, finally! Ah, the main problem with fighting these guys when you're alone is that you don't have any brother's attacks you can use. And since they've got at least over 200 hit points, it's going to be a long fight. See, I think I've only dealed around 90. Okay, he did burp, so that give, that will give me an extra turn. Come on. Why will your hair not catch on fire? If his hair caught on fire, I guess that would make him a real hot head. <laughs> and I am so desperate. There we go! As I was saying, I was so desperate that I was starting to make the really bad puns. Anyway, we have some more item blocks here, and I am hopping around aimlessly. Let's continue onward. That is that door we will go through later, but first we need to uh, reunite with Luigi. I'm actually going to go ahead and save right now. So now we are on the third floor of Joke's End. Odd, I thought we were on the second. Apparently I have no sense of direction. Anyway, here we are, and there's Luigi on the other side of the ice wall. Go on! Okay, why did it take two hits? Uh, that was very strange. But anyway... Alright, that is actually significant. So what we need to do is we need to have Luigi come to the other side. Then we want Mario to hit the block, thereby 
bringing that barrel down, and more importantly, we can go, we can cross to these sign blocks now. And what will happen when we hit these? Hey there, Jojora! Once more! Hmm, wow! If you've come all the way here, you obviously don't give up easily. Cool! So this is a present from me to you. Oh, it's another flying block minigame. The same one we saw in Woohoo University. So once again, 30 points in 25 seconds. Four. Oh, jeez. I think I just messed up. The problem is they actually travel a little bit faster this time around. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, that was horrible. All right. Let's try one more time. go with, with that much time remaining that's pretty awesome okay um we are standing here face to face and yet i think it is a good time to go ahead and end the video so next time and let's play mario and luigi superstar saga we are going to venture into jokes and even further once again, please be sure to rate, comment, or like my view. Rate, comment, or subscribe below. Or give me a like, that would be good, too. I'd really, really appreciate it. For now, this is Hyper Paradox, signing off.